Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you guys about Scream Factory's newest Blu ray release for 2001's Session 9, co written and directed by Brad Anderson. Now, this is going to be partly a review of the movie Session 9, but more so a review of this Blu ray, because I think Session 9. It's the kind of movie that deserves its very own standalone, in-depth review in order to peel away the layers and get to the core of what Session 9 is really about. And if you've not seen Session 9, I'm sure you've heard the hype surrounding it. And I can say wholeheartedly without a moment's hesitation that not only does this movie live up to the hype, but it exceeds it. This to me, dare I say, is a perfect thriller. Session 9 is a chilling, haunting movie with such a palpable sense of dread and foreboding and melancholy that it practically oozes through the screen while you watch it. Every aspect of this movie was done incredibly well. You have an awesome setting, Danvers Mental Hospital. It was a real place. It's a real setting. It was the inspiration for the screenplay. You've got a phenomenal screenplay, great direction. The movie looks phenomenal. The score is like this non-score that is just incredibly creepy. The mood, the atmosphere, it's all completely on point. The performances are phenomenal. The end will leave you in a cold chill. This is an awesome thriller. If you have not seen it, go watch it now. And this would be the perfect way to watch Session 9 because this is a very good release from the fine folks over at Scream Factory. It's not a collector's edition release, but it's pretty darn close. Now the disc doesn't feature a brand new ultra 4k high def uh, transfer of the movie. It's got a standard 1080p high definition widescreen presentation. It looks good. It sounds good. But where this disc excels is in the extras. And we've got some pretty darn good ones here. And as you know, I'm all about diligent note taking. <laughs> so first up, we have got a 49 minute making of featurette called Return to Danvers, The Secrets of Session 9. We've got interviews with co-writer director Brad Anderson, co-star and co-writer Steven Javedin, uh, stars Brendan Sexton III, Josh Lucas, Larry Fessenden, uh, director of photography Uta Brieschwitz, and composers The Climax Golden Twins. And this this making of is worth the price of admission alone. If you are a fan of Session 9, you want to see this featurette because it is very informative, highly detailed, everything you could possibly want to know about the making of Session 9, they go over in this making of, including some really, really creepy stories that went on while they were making the film. And not just that characters saw things or heard things, but they felt things. So the setting, that awesome, creepy setting, that dilapidated hospital, that asylum with its long, just sort of breaking down corridors, um, just really got into their psyche as well. There's this really crazy, creepy story um, that's told through the perspective of Josh Lucas, Brad Anderson, and Uta Brieschwitz, where they were, shooting a uh, they were shooting a sequence down in the bowels of Danvers. And the sequence involved Josh Lucas being chased down a hallway. He burst through this door. And on the other side of the door was, Josh Lucas called it a lobotomy machine. This big like table with all these spindly, long, sharp, tapering arms coming off of them, metallic metal arms coming off of them. Um, Brad Anderson called it some sort of dentist chair device. Not exactly sure what it was. According to Josh Lucas, when he burst through the door with Uta Brieschwitz running behind him, this contraption lifted up off the floor, turned in such a way that when Uta Brieschwitz came through the door, one of the spindly, long, metallic, tapering arms went directly into the corner of her eye, as if she were receiving a lobotomy. Now, of course, at Danvers Asylum, when it was an active asylum, they gave lobotomies there. One character in the film actually receives, unwillingly, a lobotomy. 
and the director of photography almost got a real life lobotomy while shooting this movie. Um, they took her to the emergency room, they stopped shooting of course, and there they discovered that she really sustained no injuries at all, but it was a reminder of where they were shooting this film and that quite possibly um, they weren't alone, put it that way. But this is a great making of featurette, 49 minutes in length, super informative, really, really good. Uh, we also get a new episode of Horrors Hollow Grounds, which is just over 20 minutes. Um, it features some uh, old footage that Sean Clark shot back in 2004, uh, touring the uh, Danvers Asylum with some friends. In other words, they broke into the place because they wanted to see where Session 9 was shot. So we get some old footage there. Uh, we get some present day footage from Sean Clark showing us what the location looks like today, which is weird because they, they, they tore most of the asylum down and what's left is now um, this like high-end, very expensive apartment complex, which is weird, but it's also even weirder and creepier because not far from this high-end, very expensive apartment complex is the graveyard where they buried um, patients from the asylum. I would not want to live there. But really nice horror, <laughs> Horrors Hollowed Grounds episode here. Sean Clark says that Danvers is still his favorite location that he's ever visited. So that's really cool. We get some deleted scenes and alternate endings. We get a 10 minute story to screen featurette featuring storyboards and behind the scenes footage. We get a 13 minute vintage making of featurette called The Haunted Palace, The Ghosts of Danvers Hospital, which features uh, on set interviews with cast and crew done while they were shooting the film. Uh, we got a trailer and we also get a commentary with Brad Anderson. I had a chance to check out that commentary, but I'm sure it's really cool. Um, Needless to say, if you are a fan of Session 9, this Blu-ray is the way to go. If you've not seen Session 9, you're doing yourself a huge disservice, and I can think of no better way of introducing yourself to Session 9 than with this release. It's definitely worth it. Some great extras on here. A great film. A truly great thriller. I dare you not to get the chills watching this movie multiple times. I love it. I've loved this movie since the first time I saw it way back when on VHS. So this movie comes highly recommended by me. That full um, standalone in-depth review of Session 9, I may get around to doing sometime soon. This movie definitely deserves its own standalone review. It's that friggin' good. Go check it out and pick up this Blu-ray. If you've seen Session 9, please let me know what you thought of it in the comments section. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here somewhere. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace.